something for you. Not all of it, you've got to eat it. You've got to eat it in half first. Ow! Always put your finger. Hi guys, I'm Harlow and this is Popcorn and today we are going to be packing up my stuff because we are moving. It's also going to be the last time I'm riding Popcorn here and we are going to our dream yard. It's going to be absolutely amazing and we're moving tomorrow so that's why I need to get all of my bits and bobs gathered up today so I can move and yeah, I'm, in a minute I'm going on a hack. Well, not in a minute. In about half an hour I'm going on a hack. So that gives me a good chance to brush and groom popcorn down because it has been raining here in England and it is not that pleasant when it rains. It doesn't stop raining. It rains for like half an hour and then when it does stop raining, it is so muddy. So yeah, popcorn is a little bit of a mud monster. So Popcorn isn't really looking his best. I do need to spruce him up a little bit. But yeah, I haven't really ridden him th for three days. So this should be very interesting. Popcorn, please don't be spicy, Popcorn. So I want to tell you a little bit about my new yard. There's going to be a solarium, a nice washing up warm, hot bay. Well, I can bath you. Yes, I am going to bath you. Because Popcorn is very fussy. He only likes warm water and he absolutely hates cold water. I realised that when I was bathing him here. It's even got a washing machine so they can wash your rugs for you. And it's also got a horse walker. So when they're mucking out in the mornings, the horses can either go in their field or on the horse walker, which I think is amazing. It's also got an indoor and an outdoor arena, which is amazing because in England you never know what the weather's going to be like so it's always good to have an indoor and an outdoor arena. I am just beyond excited to just get there, pack up my stuff and I'm sure Popcorn is going to absolutely love it but miss a lot of his friends here and so will I but it's going to be absolutely amazing. I just can't wait to show you guys, you are not going to believe it. Yay. Yeah. Hey, darling. So I've just finished school and it's been raining quite a lot. You've got oh, I mean, you look a little bit scruffy, don't you, at the minute, popcorn? Good boy. So I'm just ta taking his field chaps off. Woo! Oh. They're very heavy because they've been in rain. Ooh, this one's dirty! Ugh. Ugh, have you stepped in poo or something, Popcorn? Because those are absolutely filthy. I think you've been rolling or something, but they're soaking as well. Mm. One more. Oh, my fingers. I'm definitely going to go wash my hands in a minute, Popcorn. This is disgusting. <laughs> Woo! Mm, shall, I get, go, shall I go get my grooming kit? and just get you all clean. Yeah? Good boy. So this is my current tag storing room. I've got two containers and it actually fits all my stuff in pretty well. So this is actually where I keep my grooming kit, my treats, etc., etc. And all of this is, has to come out because we're moving stables and obviously I can't leave all of this here. So one of my big jobs today is to pack all of my stuff up in these two containers and put it in my mum's car and then it'll probably just stay in there until tomorrow when we're moving popcorn. But first of all, before I pack away anything, I'm gonna groom and I'm gonna ride. So that'll probably be my last ride here at this yard. So, hello popcorn. <laughs> hey, you know I've got all slob off in my hair. Hey. Ugh. Popcorn slobber is not the nicest. I haven't even sprayed it yet. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, 
His tail is so knotty. His tail is so knotty. I'm having to put so much spray in it. And one of the things I want to do this weekend is bath him and put him in the hot solarium. And his stable is also massive. You can fit at least two popcorns in his stable. There we go. Oh my gosh. You've got two massive stains on your back legs. Wowzers, popcorn. You really have got yourself absolutely filthy. Pick hoofs out first. Now, where's that feed bucket gone? Popcorn, stay. Where's it gone? Okay, the feet bucket has been lost. Unless it's over here. Nope. It has been lost, Popcorn. I'm just gonna do it on the floor because it is his last night. So now Popcorn's looking a little bit more clean and more presentable. We're going to tack him up and then we'll be off, won't we? Mm. Oh, gone. This is not helping. Uh, you're too tall for me. You look very fashionable when you're wearing these, so I don't get why you don't like them. today. I spoke to you soon. I'm just gathering up. Mwah. And you're pooing straight away. Okay. Okay, this is going horribly wrong. I'm so sorry, Popcorn. <laughs> I thought it was in. Right, I'm just not going to put the ear bonnet on because. So Popcorn's all tacked up, he's ready to go, and I'm actually going on a hack. It's gonna be my last hack at the stables, and then tomorrow we're moving, which I'm very excited about. And Popcorn, you're being a good boy, aren't you? So should we go? Let's go. Bye. So guys, we've just finished our hack. Popcorn was absolutely amazing. We went for a little gallop and honestly, he was absolutely unbelievable. He listened to everything I said. I just thought it would be a good opportunity to show you some parts of my current yard. And I'm actually right next to my sand school, my small, well, the smaller sand school. And it's really nice. It's a little bit flat because it's just been raining and on the other side of this barn, there's a bigger school, which people mostly do their jumping in. And this massive barn is all for the full liveries. And I think in the total barn, how many stables there are, there's roughly about 100, 100 stables. Um, there's about 30 in there, and there's a couple in there. There's a couple outside stables around there. There's even more over there. Oh, need to do a three. 60. Um, there's another massive barn around there. And then there's the courtyard where there's some more. And yeah. Where I'm going to my new stables, there's not many, very many stables, but it's absolutely stunning. And the stables are quite big. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the other sand school now. So 
Do you rock around there, Popcorn? So there's some stables there. And then you go around here. Here there's the toilets and the cafe. And then in there, there's the big sand school. So here there's a lunging pen. And on the first day that Popcorn came here, like five, 10 minutes after we got him out the trailer, we put him in there and he did like three rolls. He got absolutely so dirty because it is black sand and it stuck all to you, didn't you? So this is the big sand school. They, um, sometimes people hire out and they do competitions here and sometimes they do pony club rallies as well. So guys, I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I think I better unpack. I've got to get all of my ear bonnets, my saddle pads, etc., into my mum's car. So that's going to take me probably about an hour. So I think we better go, Popcorn. Come on, let's go get you to bed and start packing, shall we? Yeah. So, guys, it's time to pack up. All of this needs clearing off. And whoa! Got a lot of work to do, haven't I, Popcorn? Yeah. Right. I think I better get started. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all night. All of these needs stripping. So I'm going to start with the saddle pads because they're going to probably be one of my easiest bets. So I need to go in the feed room to get all of his proper supplements out because these are just spares. Oh, let's see if this Boswellia can hold. No! Okay. No! No, the lid wasn't on properly. I'm so sorry, Mum. This is in your carpet, but... Okay, that's everything from the feed room. Now... Okay. Put these in there. Because this is all in nice little boxes, this should be a lot easier to unpack. And we get there. Oh, this is heavy. Oh no. There we go. So I'm probably gonna feed popcorn now. So this is your last Indians at this yard. I think you're quite enjoying that, aren't you? Okay, whilst we're here, I'm probably gonna get his rugs. So I've got this one, or oh, his other one's there. It's fly masks, this fly rug. Oh. Onward. At the new yard, they've even got heated rug racks. Rug racks, so their rugs are gonna be nice and warm for them. Okay. Booty woody time. So these are his boots and his ear bonnets. So let's take these. Oh no, don't fall. Oh. bouncing out oh yeah I've got this I can probably put a few bits and bobs in this like some of my old boots so he's got his exercise exercise sheet in here so these are our spare flex on stirrups don't you think they're gonna fit in there Oh, this is heavy. Oh. Um, take these. That. The helmets. 
my old helmet and my mum's old helmet. That should be okay. We haven't even had him for very long and I've got way too much stuff. Oh, 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 this fool. Do, do, do. Do 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 <laughs> There. Now, I have this massive box down there which I am going to fill loads of my stuff with. That's not gonna fit. One more big grey box to fill with all of my stuff. Well, it's not just mine, it's Popkins as well. <gasps> He's got his stable signs in here. No clue what these are, but they're really nice. Oh, I think these are to hang his wet boots in. For a second I thought they were hay net, but no. These are so cute. Got the treats, the head collars. I haven't really got round to putting these up yet because there's nowhere to really put them, but I'm definitely gonna be putting these up at the new place because they're just so cool. And then this is just beautiful. It's just amazing. So these helmets actually can't be used anymore. They don't fit the um, health standards. So we're gonna be putting these in the bin. I've got a new Charles Owen one and my mum's got a new Charles Owen one. One. Ow. Two. That saves us so much room. So I'm gonna be putting these in one of the black and white bags. By the way, these bags are from Ikea and they're really good. Woo. So we're nearly there guys. I've just got a few rugs to put away and these boxes. So let's get started. Okay, I'll do that other one in a second. I actually don't really know what's in these boxes. So I've got my bags over here. To put all of Popcorn's rags in. So I'm just packing up the rugs that he won't be wearing tonight or tomorrow morning. The massive bag. Hello popcorn. And then, so this is a bit too small for popcorn, so I'll probably leave it for my friend because popcorn doesn't really fit to this. So I'll go give this to Fifi. I'll just pop it on there. Hello, Fifi. So I'm gonna tidy up popcorn's very, very dirty boots. But there's a problem, there's only three of them. Unless you've eaten it, then we've got a problem. Oh wait, no, I've got found it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm putting these in a separate bag because they're really dirty and muddy. So these need a desperate wash when we get to the new yard. Okay, oh, this is heavy. Okay. I think we definitely need to have a sort out of all of Popcorn's really old rugs. I'm making all the horses come out of their stables because this is a very loud noise. So guys, I think I've, we've got everything. So I'm gonna 
Who is the boot? We've packed up all our stuff and I think all we need to do tomorrow is take these hooks down. And I think that will be it. Yeah, that will probably be it. We'll probably rug him up, put him in the trailer, and then we'll be off to our new home, won't we? I think you're going to absolutely love it there. Good boy. I can't wait for you to see it. I think Popcorn is knackered. He is literally falling asleep in my arms. So I'm going to close the stable door. Come on. <laughs> Lift your head up. I also cannot forget to take my bridles and saddles in the morning because that will be an absolute disaster if I forget to do that. So I'll just leave this on there. It looks so plain. It looks like we've just moved in, doesn't it, Popcorn? But you know, we're moving out. We've got a big day tomorrow. So you, mister, have got to go to bed. Mwah! Good night. Turn the lights off. There we go. Good night. Good night. But he's wondering what's going on. But he's wondering where's all my stuff. You've taken it all away from me. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't think Popcorn knows what's going on. He's half asleep. Guys, it's getting really late and really dark. I'm really tired as well. The sun's literally just going down as we speak. So I'm gonna get home, have my dinner, go to bed and in the morning. It's moving day. So guys, I'll see you bright and early in the morning and I can't wait to show you the new yard. I think me and Popcorn are gonna love it. And of course you are as gonna, are gonna love it as well. It's just amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. And I've been there in person to see it, but Popcorn and you guys haven't. So. It's all surprise tomorrow. I was absolutely gobsmacked when I seen it. I was just, wow, I can't wait to move. So I better get to bed. I've got a big day ahead of me. Bye guys. Morning guys, it's moving day. We've just hitched up the trailer. We've got all of the all of the bits and bobs and now all we need to do is go get popcorn and then we'll drive to our new yard and I can't wait to see popcorn's impression I think he's really gonna love it so yeah let's get going so I've just turned up to popcorn's field and there's this new horse in popcorn's field and I've been out on hacks together with him and they're going absolutely bonkers popcorn won't leave this new horse alone <laughs> Popcorn! So he's going to be making some new friends today. It's actually quite, it's actually working out quite good. Popcorn's getting to play with his friends before he leaves. <laughs> what are you doing? Popcorn's not leaving like his side. I think this is going to be quite difficult catching popcorn. Popcorn! <laughs> popcorn, lucky he's not a dog! <laughs> popcorn, come here! Hey, come here! Popcorn! Be nice! Oi! Popcorn, come here! Popcorn! Oh. Popcorn, get here! Popcorn! Popcorn! Nice gallop before we go to the New York. Oh. <coughs> oh God. Okay, now I actually do need to catch you, so. Come here, come here, come here! 
<laughs> this is not ending well. Popcorn! Come it! Come it! Come it! Popcorn! Popcorn! Come here! Come it! Come it! Come it! Come it! No! No! The opposite direction! Popcorn, do a U-turn! He's enjoying going out with Lucky. Okay, now's my chance. That was hard work, wasn't it? Yeah! You galloping around the field so Mummy couldn't catch you? No! Good boy. We're going to have a fizzy popcorn today, aren't we? Yes. So today Popcorn is moving day! You're going to meet loads of new friends! It was a good job you had a nice gallop around with your friends because today you're going to meet some new ones! Come on! Popcorn don't eat some on me all, thank you! Yay! Make a boy! Good boy. I know you're sad. I know you're sad because I'm taking you away from your friends. But it's moving day. So we've got 20 minutes to get you all in your trailer gear and your boots. And then you can go meet some new friends. Yeah, you're going to love them. There's another little pony just like you and I'm sure you're going to absolutely love going out with him. He's a 13 too, just like you. Come on. You're being a stubborn mule now, Popcorn. Come on. Come on. Yay, there we go. I've got to get Popcorn looking a little bit more presentable because, well, if he's going to meet brand new horses, I don't think they're going to want to see the scruffy Popcorn that's been galloping around in the field with other ponies. And this yard is very posh, isn't it? So we can't have scruffy galloping Popcorn running around in his field. We've got to have nice, clean, posh Popcorn. And in here. Right, so guys, I'm doing a super quick groom before we go, just to make sure popcorn isn't scruffy galloping around the field like a lunatic popcorn anymore. Just doing a quick brush down because I've got to put popcorn's new rug on him. Okay, guys, so we are all ready. Popcorn's got his new travel boots and his rug. And of course, I can't forget his fluffy head collar. Okay, popcorn. All right, we've got to do a U-turn in a second. we've arrived and I've had to put my coat on because it started raining and it's quite cold 
And yeah, I can't wait to get Popcorn out. It looks amazing already. I've had a look at Popcorn's stable and I think he's ready to come out. So, here's your new home, Popcorn. Oh, is everyone mating to you? to look out of and everyone's looking out their window should we so should we go say hello yeah should we say hello can we say hello this is your stable you say hello to your next door neighbor Shall I take your booties off? Look, Popcorn, this is where your dinner's gonna be. This is where your dinner is gonna be. <laughs> Can you reach? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! You can just about reach! <laughs> Your tiny pony! <laughs> I think you're a little bit hangry, so I'm going to get you some hay. Hello, darling! <gasps> so guys, Popcorn is settling in, absolutely lovely. He's had a big old roll. I think he absolutely loved that. He's covered in shavings now, aren't you? And you've got some hay. Yeah. So now all we need to do is just get all of his rugs and everything and we'll put those away and then I might have a ride later. I'll try to get him out in the field as well so he can meet his Friends, I think it's time to go and get our bits and bobs. So in here's the tack room where you'll keep all of your stuff and I've chosen this locker. So I'll put all of my saddle pads on the top one, then my saddle on this one. And then obviously I'll have my mum to help me put, get down and put my bridle up because it's a little bit too high for me. But yeah, there's also a drawer, which is definitely gonna come in very handy because I have a lot of stuff. So I'll put all of his boots and fly bonnets in there and then if we come in, I was gonna go for this one, but I think I'll fit more in this one. But yeah, I'll probably fit more in this one. It's also got a sink and some seating area. So yeah, but this isn't actually where you eat your lunch. Isn't this the most beautiful tack room you've ever seen? It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, I think this is where you'll clean your tack and everything. So, and then we've also, in here we have the rug room where you choose your shelf. So I'll probably go for this one or something. And then here are the rug heaters and you just press this button down here and they get really hot so you're not really supposed to touch them. But yeah, you press that button down there and then it automatically heats up so you'll have nice warm rugs and you've also got a washing machine in here so you can wash all of your dirty rugs. then in here is the feed room where Popcorn's feed is going to go. So that's that. And 
then over here we've got the wash bays. We can see Popcorn's head. <laughs> Hello. So here we've got the wash bays and the solariums on that side. And we've got some tie ups over here. And yeah. So I think now all we need to do is get all of our stuff and put it in. So let's get going. I'm going to give you a little tour of Popcorn's stable and his next door neighbour. So here we have Popcorn's rug rack and I've, I'm just hanging his head collar there for the moment. And then I've got my grooming bag and here you can put his feed in. Popcorn's been messing around with it a little bit, so that's why it's a little bit dirty. Yes! I think he likes it. Do to do it? <laughs> so I think we're going to leave it like that for now. But yeah, you, you pull this to open it up and then inside, hello popcorn. So I've got rubber matting. Well, he's got rubber matting all around the floor and on the back wall. So here he would obviously eat his food so that's that well he would eat his dinner and his breakfast there and then over here wow popcorn you really have messed your bed up so over here we've got popcorn's window where he can poke his head out this does shut as well so for the night that will shut and then here we have his automatic water drinker and then over here, we have a little window so you can see his buddy, which is called Buddy. Yes. And that's basically it, isn't it, Popcorn? We've just got all of the stuff out of the car and unloaded it. And we have a lot of stuff. I might as well just come show you. So in here... So over here, there's the solarium and the controls for it are over, are over here. And this is all rubber matted up as well. There's a tie up here and then there's a wash bay over there. <laughs> you can see Popcorn's head breaking up the stable. And guys, these showers are nice and hot. So I'm definitely going to be giving Popcorn a shower tomorrow. So yeah, it's also like adjustable, so that's really good. Oh, there. And then the controls for it are over here. So that's that. Then we've got tie up here, and then behold, all of mine and popcorn stuff. Um, I'm speechless. What else is, we've got a lot of stuff, so. I better get sorting out, otherwise this is going to take me forever. I'm really hoping to ride him today, especially in the indoor arena. So this is actually a new Lemieux package and I haven't opened it yet, so I'm very excited. <gasps> wow. Wowzers, this is matching my top. Wow, and then I think you unfold it, wowzers. This is matching me so well. I can't wait to try this on popcorn. That is so nice. And then in here, I think this is a hat. <gasps> the pom-pom! <gasps> this fluffy pom-pom, oh my gosh. Wow, and it matches. <gasps> Boots, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these are matching bandages. I've never had like nice bandages before. These look amazing. I don't want to get them dirty, so I'm going to keep them in there. <gasps> oh my word. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a matching saddle pad. 
Pop corn, look at your new saddle pad. This is insane. The texture of it is just amazing. This looks unbelievable. Okay, I've made a decision. I am going to ride today and I'm going to put all of this matching stuff on. It looks so nice. I can't wait to ride in this. Okay, so I'm gonna get all of these bits and bobs and I'm gonna put all of this stuff in my tack locker. Voila! Okay, so here it is. I just put all of my stuff on that. Okay, so I'm putting all of my, ooh, I'm gonna put all of my saddle pads on the top shelf. Then I'll put my saddle underneath there. Then I'll put his bandages in here. So I'm gonna get a little box to put my hat silks in. And I've got a box to put to that in. Let me just go find it. got these. These need a little bit of a sort out. So, and I'll pop them in there like that. And I've got my aqua. I'm gonna put my mulberry one at the bottom because it's got these bigger ears. So I'll get to these. That's all good, I've got fur in my eyes now. <laughs> oh, the saddle pads are in the way a little bit. That's all good. So my mum has just suggested that we move everything to this locker. So now time to transport every single item. This is one way to do it. So guys, we just put all my stuff away. Well, mine and popcorn stuff away. And it's time to ride popcorn. So I've turned the solarium on so it's nice and warm for him whilst I'm tight, whilst I'm tacking him up. Right, should we lead you out? Good boy. Right, let's go. It's nice and warm under here. Fiddly. There we go. Look at all that fur coming off. And I say popcorn doesn't molt. <laughs> so the benefits of standing on the underneath the solarium before you ride is it warms up their back and it's also really nice for the winter because it is a freezing so it warms up their muscles it gets the circulation going Now we're going to tack you up because you're looking a lot better. You're looking way more presentable. So I'm just going to go get our matchy set. I'll be back in a second. Stay there. So guys, I finished organising my tack locker. I completely forgot to show you. So his bridles are up there. 
my hat's up there, my saddle pads, my saddle. And then here I've got my hat silks. And then here we've got the high vis, my body protector, spare stirrups, whips, bridles, and then in here we've got spare bridle, my gloves, like bits, hole punches, etc. My hat bag, ear bonnets, and then bandages. So I'm gonna there we go. I'll put this on there. I've still got to take this ticket off. Find some scissors later. Um, actually, I'll go get my scissors from my grooming kit now. So I've also got all of my rug like shelves sorted. I've got my head collars, my boots, rugs, my grooming kit over there. It's in very messy, so no one looks in there. Um, I've got his all of his treats in there and then in here we've got his licket which hopefully i'll find somewhere to put up then we've got his fly sprays shampooing and then we've got his hoof oil so i found my scissors so let's get going So these boxes are popcorn tagains. Oh, he's got his steam in there, then the actual thing in there. But anyways, we'll unbox that. Hopefully today, I'm not sure. But, you know, let's just cut that off. Oh, it's not cutting. There we go. Paper. I'll keep these in my tack lock. Because I can't be bothered to put them back. His saddle. And then we've got his ear bonnet. Oh, I've got a nice warm bum because the side has been under the solarium. So guys, we've tacked up and Popcorn and me are looking amazing in this new colour. And we're on our way to the indoor arena. So let's get going. It's not very far, so it's quite easy. Okay, popcorn. You've led me out here. Do you want to come out here? So, guys, you guessed it. This is the outdoor arena. It is magnificent. We've 
we've just finished our flat work session. I didn't want to do anything really, really hard because it's his first day at his new yard and obviously I want him to enjoy it. I actually thought Popcorn was doing, like I think he thought that he was doing a dressage test because he was like ballerina popcorn horse version the whole time. And he kept on staring at these photos. So I think he's got some inspiration. <laughs> he was definitely trying his best because the one down the end there, he was staring at for about five minutes. Oh, he was just so good, weren't you? Yes. I think you deserve a nice warm untack up under the solarium and treats. Yes, I said treats, and we've got some new treats for you. Should we go into the solarium? Popcorn! I want to say good night. You still at your licket? Mommy, he's literally nearly finished his licket. Yes! Popcorn's licket is there, so you can't really see. But this thing, he might get a little bit spooked because he still hasn't found it out yet. <laughs> yeah, you're still very curious about this. So the horses are supposed to push this down with their nose and the water comes out of it and it fills it up. It's not like his old stable where as soon as he drank it, it just filled up again itself. So you've actually got to do a little bit of work, don't you? So I'm actually going to go shut his window. because that's falling out your stable. Bye bye popcorn. <laughs> so guys, popcorn has had his first night at his new yard. He's just been on the horse walker, haven't you? And you've met some new friends in your field. And we've also just been to this hack shop to get a few bits and bobs. So I've got all of my stuff down here and I couldn't resist getting some more bandages in Mulberry because he just looks so cute in bandages. Then we've got this champagne saddle pad because I haven't I have the ib on it, but I do not have the saddle pad, which I was really bugged about because I just couldn't get it anywhere. But I did today. And then I've got this grooming box because my other one has broke because I've had it a very, very long time. And then I've got some very, very nice dressage gloves, which I'm only using for dressage because I do not want to get white gloves dirty. And then my mum picked this up and I think it hydrates their skin and makes them look really shiny. So I'm definitely going to be trying that out today. And I'm actually having a lesson, so that will be really exciting. So I think, Popcorn, we'd better get tacked up. I think he had the best night's sleep in his new bed, haven't you? Right, stay there. I'm just going to go turn the solarium on. Stay there, Popcorn. It's so funny because I don't know if I've told you guys, but his head can't really fit over the stable door. So I'll turn the solarium on. Mm. 
So these are my new brushes from Smart Grooming. I've got this hard dandy brush. Then I've got a softer one. Then I've got a body brush, which has popcorn fur all over it. Then I've got a very, very, very soft face brush. Then, doo -doo 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 -doo. so this is actually a hoof pick. This is the pick and then these are the brushes. I'm actually gonna be trying this out today because I didn't really get a chance yesterday. But I've also popped um, the Smart Grooming Coat Shine in there as well because I like to keep my boy very, very shiny, don't I? Because this is like my everyday grooming bag. So these brushes are amazing. I only used them yesterday for the first time. So, and they worked amazing, didn't they, Popcorn? So guys, popcorn is all ready for our lesson and so am I. And it's actually just started pouring it down with rain. So we're gonna have to go in the indoor arena. So now, as a little treat, we're going to give Popcorn a nice warm bath in the wash bay, aren't we? Yeah. Right, should we go lead you over there? Got all of my nice shampoos. I've been wanting to bath Popcorn for a couple of weeks now. I've just been waiting till we've... Yeah. Oh, well, at least that's some fur off. But I've just, I've just been waiting till we've got her. Gives you a nice bath. Popcorn. It's just this. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't realise I came out so far. That's, that's really nice. Nice warm bath. Not too fast. Let's get all that sound off your hooves. I'm just wetting down his fur. I don't think I'm going to give him a full-on bath. So I'm using this lavender shampoo by Smart Grooming. And I'm also using their shampooing pad. So... That looks so cool. Popcorn. So I think his feet have been getting a little bit sandy lately from the school. I want to give him a bath every Sunday. <laughs> this is really nice, it's foaming in really well. The bottom of his tail is so dirty, I need to get it clean.
where's my scrubbing pad gone? <sighs> Body time, I think I got a little bit carried away. But, and if you're wondering, this is nice and warm water. I'm not washing him with absolutely freezing cold water or anything. I did say to my mum, oh, it's, it's a little bit chilly. I'll just do legs and tail. But then I realised that the water is really warm and I forgot about the solarium. So we're going all out. This water is like as warm as my own shower. So it's wonderful for the ponies. Hey popcorn, let's put you in the solarium. Mind up. Some of the white lights are coming on. I'll give you two more treats. Make you nice and warm, Popcorn. So guys, whilst Popcorn is drying off, I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the yard. I'm gonna show you some of the things that you guys haven't seen yet. Hello, Lancelot. <laughs> Okay, so over here we have the massive indoor arena. And then on the other side of this is the outdoor arena, which you're gonna get to see a little bit more. And then you come up here, that's just the power box. So you have the kitchen where you can actually see in to the school. And there's so many beautiful pictures of Grand Prix horses up there and actually Lancelot's up there as well. So in here is the beautiful kitchen. So the thing that I like most about the kitchen is this. It has a snack drawer and you've got an instant hot water tap which you, you just dub, you just double tap and then twist and then it comes out and then you've got the cold water tap there. So there's the Nespresso machine for your mum or dad to have a little coffee whilst they're watching you ride and then there's a wine cupboard, the oven and then in here is the fridge and then on the other side and then on the other side is the freezer. So moving on and then in here is the lounge which, where you can sit and your parents can drink the cup of coffee that they've made from the espresso machine and watch you ride. You've got a view of both schools, you've got the view of the indoor school and then the outdoor school and over there is the horse walker and I'm actually going to go over there now to show you guys. So this is the outdoor arena, it hasn't been landscaped yet but I'm sure it will very soon. There's also some jumps over there but that's the outdoor arena. So this is another barn over here and then this is the horse walker so I'll just open it up. Ugh. Okay. So in here is the horse walker. And then inside there is a lunging pen. And then you can fit a very, very big horse in one of these walkers which is very good. So Popcorn comes on here for 30 to 40 minutes a day. 
whilst his stable is being mucked out. So all of the <laughs> so all of the flowers and plants haven't been planted yet because this place has just been built and well it hasn't really had time to do that yet so then up here are all the fields and i think over here they're going to make some all-weather fields so that will be great in the winter because it is if it's like if any horse have like lamp no not not laminitis a mud fever that's what it was mud fever so if any of horses have a mud fever those pens will be really good for them so here's all the beautiful paddocks and I think these fences have just been put up because they look really, really new. But anyways, I think popcorn's in the field with the shelter over there. Or the one next to it. Here's another view of the indoor and the outdoor arena. Guys, it is so beautiful here. So I'm just going to go see if Popcorn's dried yet and then if he is dried I'll probably put his stable rug on because there won't really be much point of putting him out in the field because he's going to be bringing in about 10 minutes anyways if I did put him out in the field and because it is an early bedtime so yeah I'll probably just wait till he's a little bit more dried and then I'll put his stable rug on then I'll go to Burley get a nice cream and then I'll head home. So guys, I'm going to have to end today's video here. I hope it wasn't too long for you because there was a lot to fit in. And well, this is exciting. We're at this brand new yard. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of exciting videos to come. So make sure you stay tuned to watch. Thank you so much for watching if you've got this far. I really, really hope to make a lot more exciting videos here. So I'll see you next time. Bye.